There's a good restaurant in Riga. You should stop there, if you're going by car. Yes, we are. We could stay there for the night. If you do, you should stop in this hotel. It's very good. Hello. Do you plan your holidays? Do you think for a long time about where you'll go, what you'll do? Today, you'll see a man who plans all his holidays. He has a lot of information about hotels and restaurants and places to visit. We have a minute or two before tea, David. We can wait in here. Are you going somewhere? What? Who are these? I'm making plans for our next holiday. Oh, yes. I like to be ready, you know. For example, we're going to drive from Paris to Toulouse. Well, there's a good road through Orléans, Limoges, and perhaps it's quicker to go that way. But sometimes it's better to go a longer way around. You see more? There's less traffic, so it's easier to drive. How do you know which road is best? The guides, my boy. They tell you everything. Look, there's a good restaurant in Bourges, so that's where you stop for lunch. Then in the evening, you should stop there and stay at that hotel. In the morning, before you leave, you should see the castle. I write it all down, you see. One page for every day. It all goes in here. I couldn't go on holiday without that, and without the maps and guides. Oh. Always make plans, David. That's the way. Always know what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. Where are you going to go for your holiday? Ah, oh, well, um... Daddy, David, tea's ready. Ah. Five o'clock, time for tea. Hello. What were you talking about? Holiday plans. Oh. Sometimes it's better to... Sometimes it's better to go a longer way round. You should see the castle. Have you and David decided where you're going to go on holiday this year, Emma? We thought about Cornwall. Cornwall? Good idea. We went there, uh, two years ago. Yes. Daddy can tell you everything about every holiday. He writes it all down. Here it is. Cornwall. Right. Hmm. We left here on August the 14th and came back on the 21st. We went to uh, Truro and Falmouth, Penzance, Land's End. It's all here. All the hotels we stayed at, how much they cost, what they were like. Whether it was raining or sunny. Of course. And what we saw and did every day. I made the plans before the holiday and then I wrote down what happened. On August the 14th we stayed at the Garden Hotel. We paid 20 pounds for a comfortable room and good breakfast. We visited the local museum and talked to local people. Sunny and warm. Yes. I remember that day. Hmm? Hmm. You can borrow this if you like, David. Perhaps it will help you with your holiday plan. Ah, well, thank you. Uh, but you see, the thing is, we don't want to plan our holiday. Don't want to plan your holiday? No. No. Good heavens! We stayed at the Garden Hotel. We visited the local museum. Do, 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 do
Baba. Doo doo. I'm making plans for tomorrow. I always know what I'm going to do. It's quicker, it's better, it's easier too. If you know what you're going to do, do do, Baba. Do do. You should always make plans for tomorrow. You should always know what you're going to do. It's quicker, it's better, it's easier too. If you know what you're going to do, do, do. Baba. Do do. I haven't made any plans for tomorrow. I don't always want to know what I'm going to do. It's nicer, it's better, it's more interesting too. If you don't always know what you're going to do, do do, Baba, 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 do do. This is the city of Edinburgh. On the left, up on the hill, is Edinburgh Castle. If you go to Edinburgh, you should certainly visit the castle. One of the guides will tell you all about it. Early picks were in here about the year 200. Royal Scots, they are the oldest regiment in the British Army, being formed in 1633. They are a Scottish Lowland regiment. They don't wear kilts. It's only the Highland regiments who wear kilts. They wear trues, and their regimental tartan is the same as the castle tartan, hunting stewards. The old gates, for example, are of great interest. This gate was destroyed in 1651 by Cromwell coming the castle. It was never replaced, as it has always been an open entrance since he was in the castle. Now, as we go through the gate, if we cast our eyes up left on the wall, the lower section of stone at the bottom, 12th century, this gate, typical 16th century castle gate. Solido, studded, spiked to the top. Number five was the portcullis gate. Now the portcullis gate was an iron grill gate which fitted into the grooves in the wall here, retained in the portcullis chamber, the lower room of the state prison. It was just held back, pegged back with iron pegs, and if the gate had to be released, it was just a matter of pikemen hammering out the pegs and down wall came the gate. You've all heard the expression of pain in the neck. That's the gate that gave pains in the neck in these days. Permanent pains in the neck. Now here we have gate six, the seventh gate, much in Colorado. Now when we go through here, we'll keep to our left-hand side of the pavement. We still have a Newfoundland guy of Scotland, his ancestral home. Now over in the far corner, the modern gun, a 25 pounder, that is the one o'clock gun, fired every day at one o'clock, 1300 hours. That's a custom that dates back to 1861, In these days it was used as a time signal for ships out on the river port. Thousands of people visit the castle each year. Today, the special visitor is Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh.
You see, Daddy, David and I have to make plans all the time in our jobs. We want the holiday to be different. We want to decide in the morning what we're going to do. Then perhaps decide something else at lunchtime. We don't really want to know what's going to happen. That's what holiday means. Because when we're not on holiday, we do know what's going to happen. Every day. I see. But then, the holidays you had with me, and your mother, Emma, you didn't enjoy them. Of course I did. So did Mummy. You knew what was going to happen, but we didn't. You enjoyed making the plans, Cecil. We enjoyed the holiday. So everyone was happy. Are you sure? Of course. By the way, have you ever been to Greece? Yes. Good. I'm going there next week. Can you tell me about the taxis? For example, how far is it from the airport to the center of Athens? How much does it cost by taxi? Do I have to give a tip? And if so, how much? I'll get my book on Greece. Thanks. I just a minute. You don't really want to know, do you? You're trying to be kind to an old fool. How much does it cost by taxi? Do I have to give a tip? Well, there were many important things to remember in today's program. Some of them were... Sometimes it's better to... Sometimes it's better to go a longer way round. You should see the castle. We stayed at the Garden Hotel. We visited the local museum. How much does it cost by taxi? Do I have to give a tip? I'm not being kind. I really want to know. I'm going to Greece on a business trip. And I always plan business trips. Ah. Oh. 